Dear students, in this session, let us discuss about the measurement of press difference using CRO for BSc third semester physics of Mysore University. Before we start, let us recap what we have learned in the previous session. We have learned about the construction and working of a CRO. Also, we learned about the measurement of voltage and frequency using CRO. The prerequisites for today's discussion are knowledge about working principle, functions and controls on front panel of a CRO, knowledge about measurement of signals on the CRO screen, knowledge about application of simultaneous signals to the CRO. In this lecture, we shall discuss about the phase difference measurement using a CRO. In addition to the measurement of voltage, current and frequency, a CRO can also be used to measure phase difference between two signals of same frequency. Here in the figures, you can see sinusoidal waveforms. Figure A represents one complete cycle of a sinusoidal waveform in which one cycle of a sine wave is divided into 360 degrees of phase. Phase is used as a measure of time within the signal. And figure B represents two signals which are out of phase by 90 degrees. That means there is a phase difference of 90 degrees between the two signal that is the two sinusoidal waves. And in the figure C, we can see that there is a phase difference of 180 degrees between the two applied signals. Now let us see how we can use the CRO to determine phase difference between the two signals of same frequency. We can use two methods. The first one is dual beam or dual trace comparison method and the second method is Lissage's figure method. Dual beam or dual trace comparison method is a quite accurate method to determine the phase difference between the two waveforms of same frequency and nearly equal or different amplitudes. Here as shown in the figure, we can see that two waveforms on the screen of a CRO. So here in these two waves, one is leading and another one is lagging. Here we choose one signal as a reference that is the signal with zero angle and we measure the phase difference between the two signals. The phase angle theta between the two waveforms can be calculated using the relation theta is equal to d by d into 360 degrees. So where the capital D is the horizontal distance that is required for one full cycle of either waveform and small d is the horizontal distance between corresponding positive slopes of the two waveforms that you can see in the figure. Both small d and capital D are shown in the figure and this ratio when we multiply with the 360 degrees we get the phase angle theta between the given two waveforms. Now, phase difference measurement can also be done using the Lissage's figure method. Lissage's figure is shown in the screen here. Lissage's figure is the pattern which is displayed on the screen of a CRO when sinusoidal signals are applied to both horizontal and vertical deflection plates of the CRO. 
These patterns will vary based on the amplitudes, frequencies and phase differences of the sinusoidal signals which are applied to the reflection plates. So here you can observe different shapes of the Lissajous figures. This dep depends on these uh, values of the phase, frequency, etc. The exact configuration of the pattern depends upon the ratio of the frequencies and the relative phase of the two signals. We can do phase difference measurement from Lissajous figures also. So here, the Lissajous figure method of measuring the phase difference is also termed as XY phase measurement. The phase difference can be measured using the formula theta is equal to sin inverse y1 by y2 that is equal to sin inverse of x1 by x2. So this y1, y2 are shown in the figure. So what are these? So these are y1 is the y axis intercept that is the distance from x axis to the point where the Lissajous pattern crosses y axis. y2 is the maximum vertical deflection. And in the same way x1 is the x axis intercept that is the distance from y axis to the point where the Lissajous pattern crosses x axis. x2 is the maximum horizontal deflection. So that is shown in the figure. So by using these values, by measuring these values of x1, y1 or x2, y2, we can determine the theta value, that is the phase difference. Here, if the major axis of an elliptical shape, Lissajous figure having an inclination angle lies between 0 degree and 90 degree with positive x axis, then the formula theta is equal to sin inverse of y1 by y2 or sin inverse of x1 by x2 can be used. If the major axis of an elliptical shape Lissajous figure having an inclination angle lies between 90 degree and 180 degree with positive x axis then we can use the formula theta is equal to 180 degree minus sin inverse of y1 by y2 or 180 degree minus sin inverse of x1 by x2. So in this way we can measure the phase difference of two signals which are applied to the deflection plates that is shown on the screen of the CRO. So by these two methods we can measure the phase difference of the two signals by using two methods which we have explained so far. Thank you.